Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Last episode got a little fishy, but we're back on track with World 5. We're doing Harvest Hazards today. This episode's gonna get a little juicy. Hopefully you're ready for it. Do we like fruit, viewers? Are there any in particular that kind of fit our fancy? Not much of a fruit guy. I don't seek it, but I know that it's enjoyable in certain ways. As enjoyable as watching these videos, perhaps? Liking and subscribing? Commenting if you want? I don't know. Who knows? But we've got some new challenges ahead of us today. Some vehicular mayhem, perhaps? We will find out. But before then, we've got plenty of puzzle pieces. Kong letters, four exactly, to collect. Some weird durians, oops, okay. I don't know what I need that for, but oops. I'm just getting hit left and right. A little tricky, okay. Oof, that was a brutal, brutal segment. I'd like to keep Dixie around. Oh, there's a puzzle piece. Not expecting that. <laughs> Like I said, I don't pre-play these, so... Sometimes it does catch me by the old surprise. I'm just trying to be... self-aware of my surroundings. Alright, let's see what these grabbers got for us. There it is. Thought I saw that peeking out. And, guys, look! It's our favorite bonus level. How about that? I don't know this. Oop. It's almost a disaster. Started the level so well and catastrophe almost sprung on us. This is why I like that Dixie. She gives that little buffer period of jumping. Oh, that's all I wanted to do. All right, just need to fall down here. There we go. Yeah, that would not have been possible just Donkey Kong. So thanks Dixie for your help. Quite nice. If you're listening to this in headphones, You'll be able to hear kind of those old grabbers making that weird sound. It's kind of a little bit of ASMR. Good for your brains, I guess. If you're into that. We got these guys over here shooting their goo all over the place. Looks kind of questionable. And look at these little cool lizard dudes with, uh... These fruits they're dragging around. That's a nice little design, isn't it? I don't, this doesn't really give me the impression of fruit. Maybe if I'm thinking of, probably not like real fruit, but if I'm thinking of potentially, I don't know, say like fictional fruit, the vibe that I kind of get is more of like Willy Wonka or something like that. When they're like having the Oompa Loompas dance around. Now when I say Willy Wonka, I'm referring to OG Willy Wonka. I'm not talking about Charlie. I know that technically Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is more faithful to the original, but he is not the one that I watched as a youngin, so that is not what I remember first. But I get it. Alright, there's the O. Oh, oh, oh. And these little weird minecarts to kind of let fall off, which is kind of goes against your instincts. You wouldn't really want to do that. But this time around, that's what you're going to want to do. Okay, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to, to do when I was accomplishing that. You got to time this one and steal that minecart from that penguin. Dodge the goo. Always. There's so much goo. And blast into this barrel. There's another bonus up here. Hopefully you were paying attention. This is one of the easier variety though, which is appreciated. Some of the bonuses in these levels are not my favorite, especially the one that we started with. So, but this one easy peasy, look at that, 15 seconds. Expedited that process, you got that done yesterday. No worries, I'm already halfway done with the level. How about that? I'm doing well. This one actually seems to not be as punishing to start, which is great. 
because the next level is. If I remember correctly, it's pretty darn tough. So we'll uh, relish the opportunity. Looks like I might have to do some uh, ABD here. Oh yeah, there it is. Always be ducking, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and I'm not too concerned about collectibles, except for that one that's hanging out up there. You see that? See that little bad boy? I'm trying to sneak around, I'm trying not to get got, but well, that's too bad. But I love the design of this fruit gecko. Look at him when you get him, he's like Bleh. We're jumping on him. Doesn't look like he cares for that very much. Okay, so you gotta watch out for the grabbers. Don't be a grabber, ladies and gentlemen. Unless you have consent. Okay, we got giant grabber here. Oh boy. Things are getting a little... A little intense. Alright. I like this kind of mechanism that's bringing the fruit up and around. Oop. There's almost death. This is when the, the Dixie Bounce will come into a lot of handy. Right. I'm actually doing really well on this level. I'm starting to get a little concerned that I'm being played here. Alright, so dodge the fish arrows. That's still also one of my favorite elements of this game. Like, not mechanically, but I just love the idea that there is a penguin that has arrows that are fish. Okay, there's the G down there. And it looks like we're just about at the end of this bad boy. This might be a, uh, a first try, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, every level, surprisingly, through this adventure with all of you, has been a first try. As surprising to me as it is, okay, that's great. As surprising to me as it is to all of you, I'm sure, but. Couldn't have done it without you, viewers. This is a team effort. And we're trying to bear the fruits of our... Okay. Trying to bear the fruits of our labor. That would have gone across a lot better if I wouldn't have missed. Okay, third time. Is a charm. Let's grab this final banana. And there's the final puzzle piece. Zoop. There it is. Not too bad, huh? This level is a false, a false trick. Okay, I would just like to do this. <laughs> I don't care what I get. But yes, this level is a, uh, to lull you into complacency. You're gonna get really comfortable because of how easy that was on your first try. Ooh, and in the juicy jungle, things are about to uh, put us into a bit of a jam. So here we go. The reckless ride. Things are about to get pretty reckless, and I don't know if this does anything. It says it protects vehicles from damage, and I've never used it, and I plan to use it on one of the minecart levels. So we'll see if it does just that, or if it's a lie. Maybe it's a huge stinking lie. I'm glad I was able to get the first level done on my first try, because this one, hmm. As beautiful as it appears, it is going to be a beautiful disaster. So first things first, we're going to head left. Another bonus. I believe this one has a couple bonuses in it. Thankfully, this is another one of the easier varieties, just the blasted smash. Woohoo. Easy there. Timing of this one's not too bad. That is not... <laughs> I say that as I'm about to screw it up. This is thankfully the one that's not too bad as long as you do it with a Kong Panion and by yourself. If you if you don't play with yourself, this one's a lot harder. So surprisingly, that's not normally how it works, but you'd be surprised. Okay, here we go. So we got ourselves a rocket barrel, and I think that that um, I want to say that that shield thingy will help. Maybe I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't really know where anything is, so fingers crossed that I find it all in a reasonable amount of time. There's the K. So we've got that going for us. We have this penguin mech. 
coming in hot with his big old champers. Trying to give us crabs. This is one. In this level, I believe, it's sort of a variation of ABD. It's like ABGL. Always be going low. That's kind of a a good rule of thumb for today. I'm gonna try to get these. Nope. Look, I probably should get those. Oops. Okay. And I think I just wasted that shield thing, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't. It still gave it to me. That's neat. Anytime there's a string of bananas that are just kind of hanging out, it's usually a relatively good indicator that there's something kind of hidden over there. Not always. But like in that case, I would have missed that puzzle piece had I not gone for it. So yeah, oops. So always be trying to sneak up on those strings of banana. You always want to grab them if you can. And using that, uh, that shield item is nice. Oops, it's gone now. <laughs> I did not follow my instructions of always being going low. But that's okay. But I love that the penguin has ammunition in the mech. Oop, here we go. This is the I missed it again. <laughs> See, this is what I do. I get so caught up in jibber jabbering. Okay, but hey, think of it this way: we're slowly making progress, and I can assure you that today's episode, this will not take me 15 lives. Maybe 14, that's on the table. 15, no, that's that's extraordinary. And exceptional and too many, so. We're gonna try to zone in. One of the most important things when you're doing these is, first off, don't be commentating a Let's Play. That's kind of a, that's a key. If you can just be playing the game on your own in your leisure time and potentially not being me and running my mouth as you do it, that should help you really focus in. So I'm going to be looking out for that string of bananas coming up. I guess we're preoccupied talking about these artillery penguins, but the bananas are coming up. Here they are. Ugh. I missed one. Boo. Thankfully, though, it's right before... the checkpoint pig, so we can keep doing this as many times as we need to. Hopefully not an, an absurd amount, but hopefully this episode will maybe encourage you to go out and get some fruit, put that in your diet, it's good for you. Like I said, I don't seek fruit, but if someone's like, hey, I have a whatever, I'm like, okay, cool. Say one of the fruits that I do I would regularly eat because they're easy to transport and take advantage of is I like a good banana and banana shaped things. Banana is a good fruit. The bananas that we all eat and know are different from banana flavored things like candy. Banana candy is a type of banana that went extinct in the 1950s. So there you go. Fun fact for you. Oh, there. That is a really hard string of bananas to grab. I know for, for a fact that that's going to be a puzzle piece. I feel it in my bones. One of these days. My usual method of rocket barreling is to just slowly kind of edge myself by touching the button, just the very tip, just gently touching the tip and rapidly pressing that over and over again like this. So that way I can kind of nudge Donkey Kong along. Now that's usually a pretty good way to do things but it appears that I can't finish my banana with the way that I'm playing right now. So I need to be better about it. We're not gonna know what the rest of the level's like if I don't get this right. But yes, thankfully, it gives you that chance to reset. Let's go ahead and fly kind of medium high so that we don't have to come back at it from an awkward angle. Here we go. This feels good. There it is, nice, beautiful. Okay, let's see what the middle third of this level has in store for us. We have Mr. Chompy Penguins. Oops, that's not very nice. Oops, that's not very nice. Oh, he's firing more penguins at us. Maybe this will be a thing too. Nope, 
There's the O though. Uh oh! We gotta be careful here. More artillery penguins. It doesn't look like there was anything in the middle of the level that we needed to be mindful of, thankfully. A big old fruit guillotine here. Oops! Or we just casually run into the ceiling. As you do. Sometimes you just gotta run into your ceiling. But have we hit our ceiling yet? I don't think so, viewers. Here at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves in knowing that there's always higher standards to hold ourselves to. Okay, let's fly through these fruit rings. And there's a puzzle piece on the other side of that. We got one more to get. One more puzzle piece. Oh, there's the end that we just missed. Time to kill ourselves. <laughs> We're just gonna slide along this trail of grape juice. For some reason, I remember this level sticking out to me pretty poignantly when I played this game back on the old Wii U. Wii U, Wii U. And I don't remember if it, I mean, it's obviously giving me a little bit of trouble, but that's because I'm trying to split my brain here. Excuses, excuses. Um, but I remember this level being more difficult back when I played it initially. So I don't know. Oh, I missed it again. Holy smokes, those bananas are so tantalizing. They really grab my attention in bunches. Okay, whew. Guys, we're still sticking with it. We're doing okay, and on time, we're doing pretty fine. Fine with time. Some of my more recent levels that I've done have been a little trickier for me, and so these levels have kind of droned on a little bit, and I don't want that to happen, so. All right, let's focus on staying high. Grab the end this time, ignore the bananas. Those are trap bananas. We got these sideways, sideways slicers here. Slip on in between them. Oh, I'm not sure entirely. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can find that final puzzle piece. Ooh. Dodge all these fruits coming at you. I think I've already missed something. I've already missed the puzzle piece, but maybe not. See, I think I know where it might be. This is all coming back to me, but his mech is now defunct. The level is complete, right? But wait, do you see that over there in the wreckage? There is yet one more bonus to get. This is a different one, it's a new one. So we're gonna do uh, all this bouncing around to get these bananas. Hopefully we can do it in time so I don't have to do this stupid level again. All right, hopefully I didn't offend tens of people here with talking smack about their favorite Donkey Kong bonus and their favorite rock and barrel level. Oh boy, this might be bad. Oh no. No! <laughs> oh no. I was close. This is obviously a lot easier when you have a Kong Pain. Is there a way to kill myself before I do this? Can I do it again? That would be wonderful. If I can be like, nope. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, you saw where it was, so I'll just go ahead and grab that one off screen. And we'll call it a day. I don't want to have to do this whole level again. Just for that, you saw exactly where it was. If it was a sneaky sneaky, then I would do it. But You will just have to trust me. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you next time. Bye.